Hi, I'm Jeff Lynch from Picasso Piano Academy. Glad to have you here. So, you want to play piano fast? Cool. I'm going to show you seven things that you don't want to do if you want to play piano fast. Okay, so let's get right into it. So, coming in at number one, worst offender, is swinging elbow. What do I mean by swinging elbow? Well, first let me just demonstrate what it looks like. And why does swinging elbow happen? It happens because we're not utilizing this thing called a joint. And this is a CMC joint, carpal metacarpal. This is a metacarpal joint. This joint is capable of doing this. Right? So, uh, what we want to do is use this joint when we're playing, when we're going up with the right hand. Let's say we're doing a scale. It's going to be the thumb on the C, uh, number two finger on the D, number three finger on the E. Now the next note's an F, and that's the, a note the thumb has to play. So if you're being lazy and you don't want to use those joints, you pivot your elbow out so that your thumb is now over the F. Now we're back up to where the thumb has to play the C, and if you're being lazy and not using the CMC and the MC joints, you got to do this again. So instead of doing that, just cross your thumb under. Cross your thumb under instead of doing this. Here's what it looks like. As opposed to... So, um, obviously this is going to affect your speed if you're not crossing your thumb under, uh, because you can only do this so fast. Uh, you know, if the song's going along at a clip faster than you can swing your elbow in and out, you're going to be in trouble. So, uh, a lot of my students tend to do this because they're not doing this, okay? Number one offender, swinging elbows. Don't do that. Okay. Number two offender that keeps you from playing as fast as possible is the bobbing head. <laughs> and so, let's say I'm playing a song that's going this tempo. I'm bobbing my head, no problem, that's cool. But what if I want to play it this fast? I can't bob my head that fast. So, if you get into that habit, it's a bad habit you got to break yourself of it. Now here's one thing you can do. When you sit down to play, one of the first things you should always do is, is just sit straight up, pretend like there's a string attached to the crown of your head pulling up. And when you're playing, it should be like this, not... And whenever you find yourself slouching, slumping, bouncing your head, just come back to that. You know, write it down and put it on a card on your pen if you have to. Head high, don't bounce. Okay? That's number two. Let's see. Number three, dancing feet. Now, I don't, you can't see my feet here, but I'm just going to play a song and I'm going to bounce on my feet. All right? I'm bouncing my feet. Same deal. If a song's going faster than I can bounce my feet, it's going to be trouble. <coughs> You're going to have to, you're going to have to go through that extra mental process and use extra mental resources to just stop your foot from doing that when you're, when you're playing something too fast, um, or just don't do it at all. When you sit down at the piano, put your feet flat on the floor, plant them on the floor, and, and uh, with the exception of when you have to use the pedal and raise your right toe to the sustain pedal, keep your feet flat on the floor. Don't allow this habit to creep in because it's a devastatingly hard um, habit to break. Okay, dancing feet, that's that. Number four, bouncy hands, keeping time with your hands. Okay. So what if you wanted to play that fast? Well, you can't bounce your hands and do that. So whenever you catch yourself keeping time with your hands, stop it. Don't do that. You want to keep every muscle of your body uh, um, that's not involved directly in playing the piano, you want to keep it um, 
you don't want to be okay. You don't want to be flexing any muscles that don't have to be flexed. You don't want to be making any unnecessary movements. So this is unnecessary. Keeping time with your hands. Also, sometimes people keep times with other body parts, their elbow. You know, uh, so just don't do that. Don't keep time with any body parts. Okay, that's that. Okay, drooping hands or dropping hands for a thumb strike. <clears throat> Here's the way that looks. Let's say I'm, I'm still being lazy and I'm not utilizing my CMC joint here. And let's say my hand is just like this at a piano and I'm going up. Instead of dropping my hand, my thumb to the keyboard using this joint as I should, I go like this. So don't do that, do this. If you're playing correctly, your hands, when you're doing runs and scales, your hand should be moving laterally like this, but not up and down, uh, not up and down, just laterally, and your fingers are doing the moving. It should look like this. Okay, so dropping hands for a thumb strike. Don't do that. Okay, number six, <clears throat> missing thumbs out over the ledge. Here's the way that looks like. Uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, beginning players might want to do something like this. Thumbs out over the ledge. Okay, and then, but when you have to come in and play with your thumb, you got to move your hands in. So you're moving in and out. That's an unnecessary move. Here's the fixes. Play with curved fingers. Curve your fingers, get your thumbs in uh, over the ledge instead of well, can't even do it. So um, instead of moving in and out, just 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 have your fingers curved. If you have to, turn your hands slightly this way so that your thumb and your pinkies are both about the same distance in on the keyboard. Okay? Missing thumbs, out of the ledge, don't do that. Okay, now the last one is sloppy hands. Sloppy, droopy, dangly, slanty hands. Okay, droopy wrists. This is droopy wrists. Don't do that. Okay, dangly hands. Uh, that's like where your hands are dangling from your wrist. This is difficult to play fast because you, we don't have enough range of motion. Uh, we don't have enough flexibility to get our fingers up and attack a note clearly um, with our hands like this. Keep your hands level. Now, one of the things you can do is pretend there's a bar of soap in your hands, right? Pretend there's a bar of soap, lay it down in the keyboard like this, and uh, keep your hands level, okay? And uh, slanty hands is like this. Your hands should be level, right? But if your thumbs are high and your pinkies are low, uh, that makes it hard because you're cramping your pinkies and your thumbs are too high. Again, uh, you need to keep your hands level. When you're playing fast, you know, you can't do this. If you're going in and out, if you're going up and down, if your hands are slanted. So sloppy, dangly, droopy, slanty hands. Don't do that. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. It helps me out. I do appreciate it.